We're here at CRS 2017. We're sitting down with Michael Tyler. How's your CRS going so far? It's awesome. I'm enjoying every minute of it. It's amazing. Awesome. And you have some big things coming up. Your debut album releasing on March 17th called 317. Tell us a little bit about what fans can expect with this new collection of music. So my first album, I've had years to write this thing. So I put, you know, my heart and soul is in this thing. And I grew up in a town of 2,000 people in Thayer, Missouri. So you're going to hear a lot of songs about small towns because, you know, that's where I'm from. And uh, just a lot of, it travels uh, a lot of places. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of modern sound and stuff. And there's a lot of stuff that I grew up on that I, I, I tried to slip in there. And uh, yeah, it just travels. So I hope, hope they dig it. Exciting. And you had a hand in writing every song on the album. And I know you're ta a talented songwriter. Was that something that kind of happened organically or did you really want to have your mark on each song on this album? Yeah, it, ha it happened completely organically. Um, like I said, I've had years to write these songs. And um, I, of course, I have a team helping me pick these songs like Michael Knox. I have a secret weapon. He produces Jason Aldean and he was a massive song plugger for a long time. So it, it wasn't a I want this song because I wrote it. It was, uh, we picked what we feel like were the best songs that we had. And, uh, thankfully, they were mine. <laughs> and recording a debut album is such a significant moment in your career. Do you have one moment that kind of just stood out from, that you'll just always remember about recording this album? Yeah, it's funny. I grew up listening to Jason Aldean. And um, when I first heard his album and how Michael Knox produced it, I knew that's how I wanted my stuff to sound. And so whenever I reached out to Michael Knox a long time ago, and uh, he brought me to town, and I, was, I recorded my first album with Michael Knox, with Jason Aldean's band, playing on my whole record. It's, you know, it's, I don't know how to describe that feeling, but it was just super awesome. That's awesome. Now, switching gears for a second, as we were just saying, you're also a talented songwriter. You already have a number one as a songwriter with Dirks with um, Somewhere on a Beach. But going into now, you're doing your own career. Do you kind of hang on to songs a little bit longer, or is it kind of harder to determine if you want to keep them or give them up? Yeah, I definitely uh, hold on to songs now. Um, they Can't See almost got away from us, my single right now. And uh, I was like, no, we are pulling that for me. Nobody pitched this song. Somebody's going to get slapped. <laughs> That's awesome. And speaking of They Can't See, tell us a little bit about that single. I know it was one of the top five most added at radio on its release week. So tell us a little bit about that song. Yeah, They Can't See is my favorite song on the record by far. Um, and I'm a big fan of the fairy tale love story. Okay, let's get that out of the way. Um, so. I wanted to write a song about my ideal woman, so I took things from you know my past relationships that I've had that I loved about, and, and kind of meshed it into one. And I love, I'm into, you know, women that love themselves and love strangers, and you know want to give their you know all their money to the guy standing on the corner, and I'm love everything they can't see. It's in the song, but um, but yeah, uh, a lot of people are insecure sometimes. I'm insecure sometimes, even though I fake it. Uh, <laughs> And uh, it's not about what's on the outside, it's about what's on the inside. And you, as you get older, everybody understands that. Um, but yeah, I wanted to make that a big point in the song. And you're also out on tour with your label mates, Low Cash. How's that been, being out on tour with them? It's been super awesome. I've known them guys for a long time now. And uh, writing with them back in the day when they were doing their own independent shows and radio tour and stuff. And so now to watch them play to sold out crowds mm -hmm. with their two number ones and everyone is singing every word, it's it's a amazing feeling and it's just makes me want to work harder because they've been, you know, 15, 10, 15 years doing what they're doing and, mm -hmm. you know, they got it, they made it. And, uh, yeah, it's just super motivation for me. Awesome. And for folks that haven't seen you perform yet live in concert, how would you best describe your set? Uh, I try to put a lot of energy into it. I want everyone to have a good time. And, uh, I, there's a lot of real songs that I, I really try to connect with the people in the room and I want to make them forget about anything else they're thinking about and just listen to music and, uh, have a good time. And <clears throat> country music is, or actually all music, it just grows consistently and evolves, but especially country music. What is one thing about this genre that really stands out to you? To me, it's just relatable to me, I think, you know, cause I'm from a town of 2000 people. And, um, you know, I grew up loving country music. I, of course, I love every genre mostly. And, uh, but country music, for some reason, mostly relatable, I guess, mm -hmm. you know. And the people here in this town are amazing. The country artists that I've met are down-to-earth people, and they're good people. Um, and I think that's what turns me on the most about country music. And then finally, being a new artist, people are still getting to know you. What is one thing that you would like to convey to fans about you and your music? Well. 
uh, it's definitely going to be different than what y'all hear on the radio. Um, and I got a feeling y'all are going to dig it. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's super different. I tried to do a lot of, uh, a lot of different things with it. Some of it's rock and roll, some of it's a little country pop, some of it's a little, you know, traditional. So we wanted to, we wanted to hit every, uh, hit every point. So very exciting. We're super excited about the album and hopefully we'll catch you out on the road sometime this year. Yeah, of course. That would be awesome. Thank you.